Hey guys, it's Goy Reviews. I'm in the bag for 2016 so 2016 17 season. It's the end of the year, but let's get right into it. So, I'll start off, I have my Vaughn V6 cup. Um, nothing too fancy, does the job. Before that, I have my underclothes, just fewer shorts. And then I have an Under Armour shirt, same as last year's. It's the Under Armour pink Superman one. So, yeah. And then I have a Pro Guard um, garter belt. So, yeah. Next, I have my Breezers. Vaughn Ventus LT68. Um, they're really good breezers, really good protection. Um, nothing too much else with these. No internal belt because they're Vaughn's. So, yeah. We'll go on to my knee guards. Vaughn Velocity 6. With thousand eyes, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, with thousand eyes. Um, good knee guards. Um, I might my next pair go. Um, not with the bulky ones. I don't know. But good knee guards, comfy. Yeah. My skates are CCM Ribcore 44Ks. Uh, really good skates, really comfy, um, great protection. Um, I really like the pump. Um, helps me get more support. And no, I'm not a bender. I just like lots of support in my ankles. So yeah, um, I really like like the carbon fiber right there. It's a nice touch and good protection. But yeah, overall, great skate. I'd recommend it. All right, so now we're going to my chest and my helmet. So my chest protector is a bowel reactor, 7,000. Uh, it's really nice, I've had it for like a year now. Um, really like it, bulky, comfy. Yeah, um, great protection. Um, right here in the arms. So yeah, great uh, chest protector, I'd recommend it. Next is my new helmet. Um, I had a question on what enemy it is. This is not an enemy, it's like a NV9, it's like a pro helmet, um, it's Kevlar on the outside, uh, and titanium right in there, right there is titanium, and then I have a Von neck guard, so this is equivalent to like an enemy 10, so yeah, it's a great helmet, I have not used it on the ice, so yeah. I have my Twigs F116 or yeah F116 I believe um, I put a big knob on it just to see how I liked it I like it um, one problem with it otherwise great stick is the peeling as you can see it's like peeling right there. Um, so yeah, otherwise, Wongo curve. Uh, great curve, I really like it. Um, yeah, great stick. Not too much else, I'm gonna retape it. Um, maybe, probably like my other stick. So this is my Warrior. Um, what do you got on the other side? My Warrior. Um, a bias, I don't know how to pronounce it the right way, no clue if that's correct or not. Um, 
I got these like two for thirty or something. Two for sixty, I don't know. It was a goalie monkey sale. I'm trying this tape job again. I did it last year for a little. Um, where I just do my toe area like halfway. See how it works out. Um yeah. That's a new tape job in both sticks. I have grip tape on them. Um, so yeah, and then this is a bit of a smaller knob, but other than that, two great sticks. So yeah, my gloves and my blocker, I have not changed. They might, or my blocker might, might get a new Vaughn blocker. Uh, my CCM 860. Working on breaking it in still. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I might get factory mod. Uh, if anyone talk, um, has recommendations on what mod I should get, I'm thinking about just doing the floating tee. Tell me, and if they had a bad experience with factory mod, then I have a Von Ventus LT68. It's a good blocker. Uh, it, I wish they had more protection, but I guess what, that's what you get with the LT68. So yeah, other than that, two great gloves. So yeah. Next, my Vaughn V6 leg pads. Uh, I've had these for two years. Oops. Um. No complaints, um, they're getting small, um, with them being small, my five hole does not tighten up uh, the way I would like it to, but yeah, my next pad I'm either going to stick with Vaughn or go to the Brian's Net Zero, um, Net Zero would fit me for my style of play with the double break, um, but yeah. Um, they're good pads, and I took out, there's like, thigh protector right here, I took that out. Other than that, um, no complaints, I guess. Just not being too small. So, inside of my little thing to my bag, I have some practice jerseys, um, the camp one, and then... This one, it's a Target, got this last year, two years, seasons ago, I guess. Um, my other practice jerseys uh, is somewhere else, upstairs, I believe. I have water bottles, and then my tailors. I have like this stress ball, but I use it for reaction. Uh, a tennis ball, and then my two water bottles, a Gatorade, and a goalie monkey. I have some tape. Um, you always need to have tape in your bag. Um, find something it's pretty cool. Tape. Lock tape and my tape ball. My other one's bigger, I don't use it anymore though. I'm gonna go get that puck one sec. So I have a hacky sack also, but that's not like the pretty cool thing. This is to warm up my legs before a game. So yeah. And then I have an orange puck. So some people might not know what this is, some people might. So this is for when you're shooting, it's heavier. Um, I don't know how many ounces it is. Um, but yeah, it's heavier than a regular puck. Um, so when you're shooting it, it's harder to shoot. So yeah, great um, training tool. Um, I recommend this if you really need to practice a shot. 
even if you don't, like, I've really been working on mine, um, I still recommend this. Mario Brodeur used this, and his shot was amazing. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Um, leave a like, please subscribe. Um, comment what you want to see or review on. My bag is a titanium or titan 6k bag. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Uh, please subscribe.